Adobe just announced their AI video model. That means that you can now generate AI videos with Adobe. It's their new Firefly video model. And I made some videos about this a couple months ago where they just showed some previews, but now you can use it yourself. So with AI video model from Firefly, you can basically just turn images into videos or text prompts into videos. And you can clearly tell that Adobe is really moving into AI with all these tools now. When you go to the blog, you can read about it here. It's an all-in-one AI tool now, so you can generate images and then you can turn those images into videos. You can also translate videos, etc. Now, the best thing about this is when you use these tools from Adobe, you can connect them to Premiere and inside Premiere, you can easily edit all those scenes. So here you can see some examples. You can translate text. So for instance, if you have a video and you speak English and you want to translate it to another language, you can auto translate it and it also lip syncs. So it should work pretty good to translate your videos and make it look real. At least that's what they say. Now here we can see some examples made with this tool. Here you can see an aerial footage of majestic snow capped mountain reflected on a calm lake and it looks pretty real. Here you can see a flickering flame on a black background only. Camera is steady and there are no subjects in the video other than the flame. Then we have some smoke on a green screen. So if you want to create green screen footage, you can do that in this tool too. And then you can easily remove all the green inside your video editing software. All these AI video tools are pretty cool to probably generate B-rolls in your video. So if you want to create a whole video with AI, it's pretty difficult. I tried it myself for my e-commerce store. I tried to create a 20 seconds video and I made the video. It worked out, but the only problem was I needed to create a lot of video scenes to get the right scenes. And every video scene that you create is gonna cost you credits. So you can imagine it's costing me a lot of credits to just make a 50 to 20 seconds video with AI because most of the time the videos that you create don't look good yet. So you have to recreate it and every recreation is gonna cost you credits and it's not cheap now. So you have to create a lot of scenes to get the right scene as you want to. So if you wanna create a short video like 20 seconds like I did, you have to create a lot of scenes and every scene is gonna cost you credits, right? So maybe for B-rolls, you can create something to put in between your videos, like to make your video a little bit longer, then it's fine. But to create the whole video, more than 20 seconds, and it's gonna cost you a lot of credits like I did. Then we see a lion yawns while surveying his domain from a rocky outcrop at sunrise. And they've also put the camera and the lenses inside the prompt. So you can really get the shot you want. Although when I look at this line, I don't know, it still looks a little bit AI generated. And I think that's the biggest problem of AI. It doesn't look 100% real. So let's scroll down here. We see a wheel inside a deep water. And this also looks pretty real. You can also create 2D and 3D animations. So if you want to create animations, you can do that. But when I look at this animation, it looks a little bit like the car is in the air and not so much on the road. So those are the little flaws from AI we still have now, but maybe in a couple of months, we will get some better realistic results. Here we see another 3D style animation. So these kind of things you could create with AI. You can also turn storyboard sketches into real videos, like you see in the example here. And you can also put a starting and ending frame. That means that your video will start from the starting frame and it will end in the ending frame. And it's gonna create some sort of video in between. As we saw, they also have translate and lip sync. And probably the best thing about this is that it's gonna keep your vocal voice. So it's not gonna make a random voice from your voice if you translate it into another language. As they say, they're gonna keep your own voice. So you have to try it out to see if this actually works. I didn't try it out, but I will probably do in the future. And they have over 20 plus languages. Another good thing about Firefly is that it's directly into Photoshop Web and Express. That means that you can also edit those scenes on your mobile phone. So you can really create social media content on the go. Adobe also says that Adobe Firefly video model is the only generative AI model that is IP friendly and commercially safe. So they're really telling that if you use Firefly video model, you can use those videos for any commercial 
videos. So you can make YouTube videos, you can monetize them, etc. Now on the website of Firefly, you can see what is available now. We have text to video, this is in beta, this is available now. Image to video is in beta, it's available now. You can translate videos and coming soon enhanced speech so you can remove noise and improve audio quality. And they also have a text to avatar coming soon. And if you're wondering how much does this all cost, you just click on buy now and then you can see the plan. So this is the Firefly standard. You only get 2000 generative credits a month. And this is the Firefly Pro, you get 7,000 credits a month. And here you can see some information about how long can you generate videos. So you can generate up to 20 videos of five seconds for this amount. So that's probably somewhere around $10 a month. So that's it, that's the new Firefly video model. I will try it out to see how this actually works and maybe we will do another video about Firefly video model in the future. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and catch you on the next one.